Hey, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Zach. What's up, Ann fam out there? All my brothers and sisters, happy Tuesday to you, May 12th. Uh, so you know what that means. Proverbs 12. So we're going to get right in here. There's a lot of wisdom here. We're going to jump around. So, Father God, just thank you for your word. God, you are so awesome. Father God, you are so awesome, Jesus. Thank you, God, for your, for, for your wisdom, God. Jesus, your wisdom works, Lord Jesus. Your wisdom works, Father God. Your, yeah, the Bible, when we apply it to our life, works and it prospers. Wherever you send, send your word, it always prospers, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, so much. Um, open up someone's, open up everyone's understanding. Let your word fall on good ground so we can bring forth fruit, fruit that glorifies you. Hobby be on the cross so you get the glory. In Jesus' name, all the glory. Amen. All glory to King Jesus. So, uh, we're going to jump around. There's a lot of wisdom here. So, uh, verse uh, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. And this is the New Living Translation. If you want to get on your phone, check out, you know, a Bible app. So, New Living Translation, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. It says, to learn, you must love discipline. It is stupid to hate correction. So, if you want to learn, if you truly want to learn, you got to love discipline. The Bible is saying. What does that look like to you? You know, you have to customize this for yourself. You got to customize your walk with God. What works for me might not work for you. But, you know, you have to see God in prayer for yourself. Ask God to, to, to give you a plan of action, a game plan. You know, a playbook. <laughs> to learn, you must love discipline. But, 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 but. Um, I say all that to say, you know, the principle is the same though. Okay. Apply the principle the way God wants you to apply it. Show God how you, how He wants you to apply, you know, these principles. Um, okay. So to learn, and 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 these are the principles. To learn, you must love discipline. It is stupid to hate correction. So, you know, for me, it's setting aside, you know, time. You know, I have to discipline myself. Discipline, you know is you know for me at this time of my life is instead of playing you know video games for two or three hours i need to sacrifice that time um or at least before i do that before you know before i i want to do what i want to do whether it's you know hooping or um playing airsoft or whatever it is uh whatever i find you know fun or entertaining um in my free time you know uh before i do that I discipline, I got to discipline myself and take care of God's business. The Bible says to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will take care of itself. So that's, you know, for me, that's discipline, you know. Um, I got to, you know, I got to specifically, you know, carve out, you know, okay, um, every day, you know, from, um, you know, after I do my, my classes, with this distance learning, with all this corona, you know, virus going on, uh, I'm a teacher, so I gotta, you know, I gotta teach in the, you know, in the morning first. But after I teach, I set aside maybe an hour, uh, an hour or two for prayer and in, in the Word. Uh, I have to, I have to make myself do that. You gotta discipline yourself to, and it's through that setting aside that time and seeking the Lord's face that He'll He'll cause you to learn. So, but again, to learn, you must love discipline. This has got to be a daily part of your life to deny your flesh what it wants. It is stupid to hate correction, you know, pretty much. Um, you have to you have to be willing to be corrected. You're not always right. <laughs> You're not always right. Some people have been there, done it. I'm 33 years old, but you know, there's there's still stuff that that you know that I'm still learning. I can learn from a 21 year old, you know. Uh, they they know a lot more about technology than I do, because they're in you know they're in a they're in, they're living in the age of technology. I'm sort of a an old head when it comes to that, and I still think I'm sort of young. <laughs> but you know, um, but the point of the, the 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 bottom line, you have to be willing to be corrected. You have to humble yourself. You know, the prideful um, pride says, man. I don't need your help. I got this. You can't tell me to do anything. 
You know, that's what the prideful says. And the Lord, Lord calls that person a fool. You know, the prideful who says, you know, they're not willing to be taught. So again, it's stupid to hate correction. The wise person loves to be corrected because that's how you learn. All right, verse 13, actually 13, 14, 15. The wicked are trapped by their own words, but the godly escape such trouble. So we've all seen that before. You know, sometimes, you know, the wicked, again, the wicked are trapped by their own words, but the godly escape such trouble. We all, we all seen that person. You know, sometimes, you know, the wicked person's trapped by their own words. Some people, you know, they, they talk all this junk, you know, with their mouths, they're cashing, um, <laughs> they're writing checks that they're, <laughs> that their mouth can't cash. They're writing checks that they can't ca cash. <laughs> they're talking they're, they're they're talking way over their head, you know. And they're going to be trapped. You know, they're going to be held accountable. Uh, you know, be careful the words you say, you know, be careful about the words you say. You might just say saying it to the wrong person and it's not going to be pretty. But the godly escape such trouble. Why? Because of wisdom. Because they're applying the word of God. You know, the other day we, we learned out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if you're feeding yourself the word of God, you know, the Lord will, will cause you to, to dodge these situations. The Lord will cause you to, to, to steer clear of trouble because you have wisdom. And the Lord, the Lord will just order your steps. <laughs> the Lord will, the Lord, with the Lord, you're guaranteed victory. Uh, you might still go through the problem, but I'd rather go through the problem with the creator of the universe, with God Almighty, than to go through a problem without him. Okay? Uh, wise words bring many benefits, and hard work brings rewards. All right? Your words... Whether you hear them, whether you're receiving wisdom, it's going to benefit you. Or whether, or whether you're going to um, give that wisdom and impart that wisdom to someone else, it's going to benefit. So, bottom line, wise words bring many benefits. And hard work brings re rewards. Verse 15. Fools think their own way is right, but the wise listen to others. So, the Bible calls this person a fool. Whoever thinks... They're always right. They're always right and they can't be corrected. Again, going back to first, verse 1. It's stupid to hate correction. This sort of ties into that. You know, it's... the uh, <laughs> God is saying you are wise when you stand corrected. When you want correction. Again, the wise. Verse 15. But the wise listen to others. Okay? You know, you're not always right. Humble yourself. It's okay to be corrected. That's how you get, that's how you gain knowledge. When you're willing to, when you're willing to um, take other, consider other perspectives, you might learn something that you didn't consider before. Uh, let's see, verse 18 and 19. Some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. The King James Version, it says, There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. So, you know, some people just, the words they speak just cut you, hurt you. We all know that person. We all know the, those people that it just, whatever they say is just always offending people. Just always, uh, and... You know, just always, just, just has bad intentions. You know, when they speak, they're intentionally trying to hurt people, you know? Um, people, you know, uh, they just have that, rep that reputation that, you know, whenever they speak, you know, people get hurt, you know? Um, some people make cutting remarks, but the words, the wise bring healing. On the flip side, you know, some people... All they speak is just words that hurt. But there's some people, but wisdom, 
God is saying wisdom brings healing. Okay? Death and life are in the power of the tongue, y'all. That's, that's in the Bible too. Look it up. It's in the book of Proverbs. Okay? The words you can speak can heal people too. So just like some words, some people speak words that cut people, wisdom, when you speak wise words, they can bring healing. Check that out. Uh, I like this one. Verse 19. Truthful words stand the test of time, but lies are soon exposed. Truthful words stand the test of time, but lies are soon exposed. So, you know, I think about the Bible. You know, we all know the Bible is the, the word of God. It's the truth. And look at the Bible. It has literally withstood the test of time. This is a book that's been written thousands of years ago. You know, there's there's tons of books, you know, that uh, that have been written, that have been, you know, thrown away because they've become obsolete. You know, but the word of God, it endures forever. Heaven and earth may pass away, but the word of God endures forever. Um, you know, lives are soon exposed. You know, we hear... You know this in the media all the time you know fake news you know something might might sound good but in a couple of days you know the truth comes out and those lies get 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 overturned you know lies they they make li lies may may last but for a moment lies are but for a moment they might you know lies stay around maybe for a, a few days but after the truth comes out they vanish um verse where are we at uh verse 24 and 25 work hard and become a leader be lazy and become a slave work hard and become a leader be lazy and become a slave king james version it says the hand of the diligent shall bear rule but the slothful shall be under tribute you know i'm thinking of like an entrepreneur like an entrepreneur someone who who creates their own job you know, they make their own hours. They work when they want to. You know, that's why it's so cool. If you're young out there, if you're a youth out there today, you know, develop the next big business. God, you are more than able. Dream big. You know, a great business idea is, is solving a, a common problem. What is a common problem in our, in our lives? That's a great, a great business idea. You know, solving those those common problems that we have. You know, work hard and become a leader. Be lazy and become a slave. If you're lazy, if you don't want to get educated, if you don't want to put in the hard work to become the best athlete you can, if that's if that's your dream, if you want to be an athlete, if you want to go to school, if you want to become an engineer, whatever it is, you know, you got to work hard for those things, and it's gonna pay off. And you know, the the hand of the diligent shall bear rule. Your rule. But the, uh, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Or in other words, the lazy become a slave. You know, or you can, you know, not, not get educated and work a nine to five job at, at Wendy's for the rest of your life. You got to go to work. You have to put in the hours and get paid uh, meagerly, just miserably. You know, you're not paid what you think you're worth. You know, you'll feel like a slave. Uh... But hard work, you can bear rule. 25, worry weighs a person down. An encouraging word cheers a person up. So the flip side. So worry, you know, come on. Uh, you can be worried during this pandemic. And we all know being anxious, worry just weighs you down. It just feels like uh, something's on your back, you know. That's what worry does, you know. Let's throw that off in Jesus' name today. And we're running out of time here. Uh... You know, an encouraging word cheers people up. This is what the word of God, that's why I love the word of God so much. Verse 28, the way of the godly leads to life. That path does not lead to death. So the way of the godly leads to life, leads to heaven. You know, if you apply the word, if you submit to the word of God, you apply it and you walk with God all the days of your life, you know, you'll make it to heaven. And, he, and even if you trip up or, or, you know, or make a mistake, God is a forgiving God. God loves you guys. I love you too. God forgives us. And he loves you. He wants you. God bless y'all. I love y'all. See you tomorrow. In Jesus' name. All glory to King Jesus. The word of God is wisdom. Amen.